Pranil, let me know. I think you will give the intro and then we will start. Yeah, I, well, I was ready in five ah. minutes. Now. Okay. We don't show you uh, that there are a particular number we should wait for. Yeah, yeah, okay. Let me know. Okay. Then you start the camp. Yeah, good morning everyone. Uh, thank you for being on. Uh, good afternoon actually. Good afternoon everyone. Thank you for being on time for the 
uh, state board admission procedure um, query session that we're about to have. Uh, we'll be starting shortly. We'll just wait for around two to three minutes more so that more people can join. And then we'll be starting. So we're giving it around two to three minutes more. Around four, two, four, three, we'll be starting. Uh, I'll inform Rohit um, accordingly. Okay, we have around 140. I think we can uh, we can start now. So I would like to call upon uh, Rohit sir to take ahead the proceedings. Um, regarding any doubts, uh, whatever doubts you may have, uh, will be taken up at the end. Uh, try and avoid um, writing down doubts that have already been put in the live chat. Uh, if you write down doubts that are already there, it'll become uh, uh, confusing. It'll get repeated at some real queries may get lost in the shuffle. So have a look at the chat box, see if your doubt is there, if it's not there, then write down your doubt. Also, please avoid using the uh, chat box for general uh, uh, chatting. Uh, so I'll call upon uh, Rohit sir to continue with the session. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon, children, parents, uh, my dear colleagues uh, from all the three schools. and. Uh, I hope the today's session will clarify and clear all many doubts which uh, the children may be having right now. And uh, uh, let me begin by congratulating everybody uh, on excellent scores uh, by all of uh, by all of the students. And uh, the confusion and the chaos uh, which was there in the minds uh, due to the CET has now gone away. And now. Uh, you will be getting admissions to your colleges, to the desired colleges, depending upon your scores which uh, you have received from the uh, various boards, that is the ICC, CBAC, SEC boards. So you will be competing with the other boards uh, students, uh, depending upon whatever marks you have got in your grade 10 mark sheets. So uh, before we begin, I think most of you have filled up uh, the part one form and uh, after you finish uh, part one form, uh, once you uh, uh, log the form, you it automatically comes to the school, and the school's uh, duty then begins to verify the details on the form. Now uh, I am speaking from Ashok Nagar right now, where my clerical staff has asked me to 
uh, inform you uh, inform that many of the students are uh, entering wrong data uh, in the forms and it is coming back to us and then we have to go through the form and we find that many of uh, most of the data or many of the students data are uh, fields are wrong and then we cannot verify it so we have to send it back to you for uh, uh, correction now the common mistakes which i find uh, my according to my clerical staff i will let you know so whenever you are filling up the form if you have not filled up part a of the form uh, please uh, see that your candidate number that is your which is there in the hall ticket has to be written in the seat number uh, school code uh, there was a change in school code so many of you had written the wrong school code uh, which we had uh, sent it by error so if you have uh, in the last one or two days we have sent you the correct code i will be flashing the correct school codes again so if you have uh, written the wrong school code your form cannot be verified it will come back to you you will have to edit it and send it back to us i will shortly show you uh, the school codes which are the correct ones uh, also the month of passing according to the uh, rules according to the rules has to be march april or may 2021 so please do not write june or july uh, it has to be either march or april or may 2021 uh for all icc students of our school for all the students we will be writing group 1 and group 2 marks only do not write the group 3 marks it is only group 1 and group 2 marks to be written uh group 3 marks are not to be entered so out of 500 there is two subjects of group 1 and uh, three subjects of group 3 uh will be entered in group 1 and group 2 Uh, so there is a total five subjects the group 3 subjects will not be taken into account for your uh, college admissions in the state board colleges uh, also english marks are to be out of 100 do not write english 1 marks or english 2 marks english paper 1 or english 2 it is a combination average of english 1 and 2 if you have seen the mark sheet it is already there your uh, marks out of in the english subject are given you have to write only that also when you are downloading when you are uploading a certificate uh, uploading the mark sheet do not uh, use the screenshot if you have taken a screenshot from your uh, uh, from your computer do not upload that but uh, you, know, you must see having a place where you have downloaded the mark sheet there is a place in your um, icc whenever you are seeing the icc result download mark sheet and then use that particular certificate do not take a screenshot of your entire screen and send it uh, we do not i am not very sure what are the issues so, but uh, my clerical staff has requested that please use only downloaded mark sheets which are available at your icc website uh, now coming to the form like i said part 1 and part 2 uh, forms have to be filled up part 2 can be only filled up when part 1 is verified by the school and for that we do not have many days now you have to complete the procedure by march uh, by sorry by 22nd so if you are not filled up part 1 please do it today itself it doesn't take more than uh, half an hour because it is only most of your personal details are asked uh, your marks are asked once your uh, details are come to us we will try to uh, within a day or two we will try to approve it it takes because there is a big queue of uh, forms which have to be verified by the clerical department and uh, since there are a lot of errors uh, there is a lot of to and fro uh, in the forms which are going back to the children and then again coming back to us again we we'll have to check the forms so be very very careful while filling up part a of your form uh, now the uh, what i will be doing is i will be first taking you to the uh, general information general the terminologies which are being used in the presentation or which are going to be useful for you uh, in your filling up the form part 1 and part 2 after i do that i will take you to some general points which are very important for you to remember and after that i will take you to part 1 if you have not filled up the part 1 and then i will take you to a live form for part 2 and then in the last 15 minutes we will try to answer as many questions as possible so now i will share the screen and uh, show you the uh, some, uh, the important terminologies which are being utilized 
uh, which will be useful for you. Please wait.
these admissions are not through online quota but uh, these admissions are uh, will be done at the college level once the admissions are given so now uh, uh, we have a zero round of admission the zero round and the first round zero round uh, is for in house quota management quota and minority quota admissions uh, this is being done right now uh, it is happening all the students who are applying for a minority college will be getting admissions in the zero round no centralized admissions will be done quota admissions are done at the junior college level so if you are applying for a hr college or a jain college or you are applying for a mithibai nm college and you are belonging to gujarati community or you are belonging to the christian community uh, for st xavier's or st andrews these admissions are being done right now so but all uh, admissions whether you are applying for in house management or minority quota admissions part a and part b have to be filled up online admissions are compulsory whether you are applying for minority admissions or you are not, not applying as a general candidate admissions will be done only will be given only if you complete part a and part b of the online form but you also have to uh, for minority colleges you also have to apply directly at the college and fill up their form so when filling up the form you require to give the data of your uh, uh, part a and part b some data will be asked uh, and that will be verified after the zero round Uh, then the regular three regular rounds will begin there are three regular uh, rounds for admission for all candidates so first round second round and third round and admission will be done as per merit reservation and preference given by the students after all this rounds get over then there is a special round for those students who have been unable to secure admissions at the zero round one round one round two and round three or those who have missed out on the admission procedure and have forgotten to fill up the form or have cancelled the admission or have not taken the admission in round 1 round 2 round 3 they will be having a special round later uh, admission to bifocal courses will be given at junior college as per merit the students who have taken admission through jail can participate in parallel bifocal admission process i have already told that uh now coming to some more important points uh again zero round is only for quota admissions in the zero round simultaneous uh, process of preference of regular round also should begin so for example now the zero round is already in progress but round 1 data is already being taken and round 1 admissions will also be uh, declared at almost the same time so your zero round admission and round 1 admissions will uh, will happen simultaneously i have already said this uh, admission under reserve quota there are admissions like in house quota management quota minority quota and what is a in house quota in house quota is for student schools which have already have 10th standard and at a junior college uh, we do not have it so you don't have to worry about a in house quota uh, you can you are not applicable for a in house quota management quota is again uh, 5% seats are in all reserve are reserved for the junior colleges for the management uh, admissions minority quota under this quota 50% seats reserved in minority community religious or linguistic um, christian jain buddhist muslim sikh parsi etc are available are eligible for the uh, uh, for uh, the religious minority or for the linguistic minority you have uh, the uh, uh, non marathi any everything uh, which is non marathi will be uh, come under the linguistic minority but the colleges which are uh which have been created for that particular language okay under this quota list of eligible students will be declared at the junior college level itself and admissions will be given purely on merit basis so again when you uh, when there are hundreds of students applying at mithibai college all under linguistic minority your admissions will depend upon your score again similar if you are applying for as a christian if you are applying for a uh, admission in uh, in the st xavier's college your admission will be available at st xavier's college or at st andrews college or at wilson college under christian minority quota but you will be getting admission based on your merit 
based on the percentage of scores. I will not read out the uh, separate breakup of uh, caste admissions. Uh, okay, the, about, the, uh, about the fees charged, uh, like I said, fees at different colleges will be depending upon whether they are aided, unaided or whether they come, uh, come under self-financed uh, colleges. So, uh, again, for the uh, there is a remarkable difference between an unaided division and an aided division. So, when you are filling up the form, when you are asked to fill up uh, 10, you have to, in part uh, 2, when you open up the part 2, you are supposed to fill up minimum one college and maximum 10 colleges so a one college may have more than one code so for example bhavan's college will may have three codes one of aided section one of unaided section and one of uh, the self finance course so that becomes three choices so you have to give them total 10 choices again for bifocal or information technology subjects fees may be charged separately by the college Now, uh, again, the forms are filled up in part 2 and part 1 and part 2. Part 1 is your personal information which is already open. Part 2 opened from yesterday, uh, from 17th. But part 2 is available only once the school verifies your part 1. So, those who have not filled up part 1, please hurry. And uh, when you are filling up the part 1, please see to that the information which you give is correct. And so, we do, our clerical staff does not waste time in uh, sending you the form back and you do not again waste your time uh, uh, correcting the form. I think this is the uh, only this much is left. Okay, page 36 requires some more admission uh, information. Uh, yes, this again, I am again uh, repeating. Zero round is for junior college level quota admissions. And a new student can enter the admission procedure at any time. Uh, online procedure, uh, if you have missed out part, if you have missed out round one, you are still eligible for round two and round three. Uh, because the form will be open. Uh, after every round, uh, students, after every round, remember that if you are if you do not get admission in round one, uh, you are still eligible for round two and round three. And if you want to change your preferences of your ten colleges, or you want to change your stream, uh, for example, if you have decided that you are selecting a science, if you are a science student and you want to apply for science colleges, you are applying for round one in science colleges. And in round two, if you do not get your admission in round one, you can change your preferences in round two you can change your stream from science you can go to commerce or arts or from arts you can go to commerce or science and vice versa also you can uh, change your preferences of any of the 10 colleges
this I will reiterate again and again. I will repeat it again later. Uh, when you select the colleges, 10 colleges, and you are given admission to your preference number one, you have to take admission in the uh, college which you have given preference number one. If you do not do so, you lose out, you will not get the uh, chance in round two or round three. So, if you have selected XYZ college as your first college of preference, and in the select in the round in the result you get your college number one, you are supposed to confirm your admission due within that stipulated time in the first college of whatever has been given to you. If your college college number one is Mitibai College, if you have put up as the first college as Mitibai College and you get admission in Mitibai College, you are supposed to take admission in that college. Otherwise, you are not eligible for round two or round three. I uh, again repeat this when uh, we are selecting the colleges. Okay, so this is uh, mostly about the general points. Now, let us come to the next part. Some important points which you will uh, remember, which you have to remember. I think I will go again here. It is already uh, part 1. It is talking about the registration fee 225. You have to pay through a debit card, credit card, UPI, internet, banking, uh, etc. It is advisable to provide two phone numbers. Uh, even if the second phone number field is optional, that is because uh, you will be getting an SMS also once you get the, once the declaration of the round 1 results or round 2 results or round 3 results, it will be coming to you via email as well as uh, through the SMS. So, if you, have, uh, if you have two phone numbers, you will be getting SMS on both the numbers. So, if you, if you forget to uh, get notification on one, you will at least get the notification on the other. If uh, Please check that you are uh, not on do not disturb uh, DND list because many times the people who are on DND list do not get SMS from uh, the uh, online admission forms, uh, the center. So give uh, a number where you regularly get your SMS, where, which you are regularly using and which is available uh, to you for with you. So uh, students, please note down this correct uh, index number if you are not. Uh, done it before. Malad index number is MU OB150. Ashok number index number is MU OB167. Thakur complex is MU OB168. The previous ones are wrong. Uh, these are the new ones which have been given to us by the department. So you have to utilize this ones. If you do not utilize the correct ones, your form cannot be verified by the school. So it is very important that you do not make an error here. If you change the code, your form will go to some other school and that school may ignore your form and your uh, form is lost in this uh, process. So it's very important that you are writing the index number MUOB150 for Malad, MUOB167 for Ashoknagar, MUOB168 for Thakur complex. If you do not, again I am repeating, if the form, if you do, if you write the wrong index number, it will go to some other school and we will not be able to verify your form. Again, I already told you, group 1 and group 2 subjects only to be written. At the end of part 1 form, you will arrive at the lock application form page. You have to click on the declaration that you have gone through the form and everything is correct. Then lock the application form and then take a printout. Please verify all the information in part 1. Before you lock your application, you will not be able to edit anything in the form after you have locked it. OBC, uh, people who, are, who belong to OBC community, please remember uh, admissions are given based on the non premium year certificate. So that is very important for OBC candidates. For quota 1 uh, and part 1 and part 2, again I am repeating that any student who wishes to take admission through quota will have to uh, take the also fill up the desired junior college uh, through online, offline at that particular college and the junior college will declare the merit list for quota at that level uh, with your merit. Students need to take admission as per merit list and the concerned list will perform, will, uh, will perform the admission process on the 
portal. I think they will. I am not very sure what language is this, but uh, some error in the language. But they are trying to say that admission. They will confirm your admission on the portal. Uh, again, very important. Like I repeat, I am repeating a second time because this has happened last year and the year before last. Parents, those who have students who have been given allotted admission to the first preference college, have not taken admission and then lost out on the admission process. They have to wait till a special round, round four. By that time, all the best seats in the best colleges are already over, and you have to take admission in any. Uh, college which the government gives you. So understand again. I again repeat it when the when I talk to you about part two uh, admission. If the student fails to take admission uh, in the first in the any round, if you are not if you are not taken according to the first preference, then you will not be considered in the regular rounds. You will be considered only the special round. If a student wishes to cancel his admission. You can cancel your admission, but then you cannot get into the process again. By chance, if you have taken admission at a particular college and you want to cancel, there is a process in which you can cancel the admission. But after you do that, you are out of the admission process. The government does not take responsibility for your admission, and you will have to wait in the special round. Uh, for such students who have confirmed the admission in any junior college through the central admission, centralized admission round or any quota admission, the admission process is completed there itself. What does it mean? That if you have taken admission in round one, then you are not eligible for admission in round two and round three. If you have taken admission in round two, you are not eligible for round three. If you have taken admission in zero round, you are not eligible for round one, round two, round three. So, for example, if you have taken admission in the minority quota, you you are not eligible. You are out of the system. You cannot take admission in round. Your uh, form will not be uh, going ahead, and you will not be in the admission process in round one, round two, or round three. Centralized admission process and uh, quota admission process will be conducted simultaneously as per schedule. So, this is again the important points. Now let me come to the on uh, part one of your form. For this is for important for those people who have not filled the part one form. Uh, Ronit, is the PPT visible? Yes, I can. Okay. So uh, this is how your main page looks like. So you have to. Those who have not filled up the form, you will have to go and choose the reason to apply. Uh, I am very sure everybody will be applying for Mumbai. So this is Mumbai MMR is already mentioned here. Uh, this is how your admission will look. Uh, the next part will look like. Once you start your uh, login and admission process, you will have to give these options within MMR region. You are a fresher. And uh, you belong to, you are from the ICC section, uh, ICC board. So these are your three of uh, three things which are filled up within MMR. Then you are a fresher, and you belong to ICC. Uh, the next uh, screenshot I have taken. We have taken screenshots. It look like this. Uh, you have to mention your seat numbers. I again, I am again repeating. Seat number is your candidate number, which is there in your ICC hall ticket. Also, uh, I have seen cases where the, some students have, when you are asked to upload the mark sheet, uh, some students have uploaded the uh, terminal one mark sheet or the nine standard uh, final exam mark sheet. So that is wrong. We will have to send back the form to you, and you are delaying your admission process. So understand that you have to uh, you have to download your form, uh, your result uh, mark sheet from the ICC board portal, and upload the grade tenth mark sheet. Which has come from the ICC board. Month of examination is May. Year of examination 2021. You enter your name as given in the hall ticket. Uh, applicant number, uh, applicant details, mobile number, and email ID. I think there are two options available uh, for two mobile numbers. Please, uh, as far as possible, uh, give mobile numbers uh, which are which you are constantly using so that you do not miss out. Any uh, admission uh, message that you have got admission so and so college and completion of admission process. 
Also, email ID. Uh, everybody has an email ID. Please use your email ID. Security question and security details you have to put in. And password details and confirm your password. Please do not share your password details with any of your friends. We have seen cases last year or year before last where students have played pranks on each other. Uh, once they have your, uh, once they have uh, details of your password, uh, we have seen cases where students have, uh, for playing a prank, have changed the preferences and that wrong forms have gone to the uh, board. And you have got admission, uh, you have got uh, uh, round one admissions in some colleges which you have, we are not filled up. So do not share your password and your other details with any of your friends. Okay, uh, this is the f next, uh, once you write your name, email ID, you will come to this screen. Your application login details will be seen here. Take a printout and then proceed to login. Again, you will have to login and use the password now. Once you uh, get this, you will come to this screen where you again you have to, uh, this details will be visible to you and uh, you will, it will show you that your IP address is so and so and your username and user login is so and so. Again, uh, this is the next screen which is again telling you that if you belong to, if you have a quota admission, etc. then you have to uh, write the correct UDS code. And uh, once you come to this, you have you will be asked the you will be asked to write the name, applicant's mother name, the gender, and the date of birth. So you have to fill in all these details. Name of the school, Children's Academy, MU OB one six seven. UDS number is already given. Save and next. So if you don't write, if you don't write the correct school, you will uh, again. I am repeating. Your form will not come to me or to Malad or to Ashtakar Complex and your form cannot be verified. So this is a very simple uh, form, part is only taking your details, you will be writing your address, your state, Mumbai Suburban is where uh, Malad Kandili uh, is. So you will write, select Mumbai Suburban, Taluka will be Burili and city will be Mumbai. You have to write mobile number 1 and mobile number 2, landline number, I am not very sure it is compulsory, I don't think it is compulsory. But uh, mobile number one is compulsory, mobile number two is not compulsory, but please fill in the details. And email ID again is not compulsory, but I would prefer that you give an email ID. Save and next. And then you come to this part, again is asking you whether you belong to general, your category, whether you belong to, uh, uh, do you have any reservation or do you belong to any, uh, do you have any, uh, are, do, you, are, do you belong to any disabled category, etc. So fill up this, you select your category, if you belong to SC, ST, OBC, NT, uh, VJ, NT, Kota, you will have to select that, uh, that will be, uh, once you do that, you will have to attach, your form is locked and then it can be opened only once the school verifies your details. So uh, for example, this particular child has already filled in the details, I am showing you the screenshot. Uh, does the applicant belong to handicap uh, category? No. Does the applicant belong to earthquake? No project area uh, has been the applicant been transferred so most of the details will be no whether the applicant uh, belongs to grandparents of freedom fighters no 99 percent will be no and does the applicant belong to servicemen or access servicemen if your mommy and daddy belong to the servicemen or their ex-servicemen then you will say yes otherwise no uh, again now, for example, the form I am showing you uh, is a student who has filled up a form because he has won a medal at a state level or a national level uh, sports event which has been conducted by the district sports office. So, if any student from Malad school, Thakur Complex school or Ashok Nagar school, if you are medal winners at any state level or national level, uh, medal winners only have uh, got some quota in admissions, otherwise uh, you are not eligible. So your uh, medal at Sai Ground at uh, grade 1 and 2 or grade 4 or 5 or whenever a sports day given by Children's Academy doesn't count here. Remember, it is only counting the state level or the national level participation and it also gives you uh, the option of gold, silver and bronze. Okay, uh, again are you applying for minority, do you belong to minority category, if you are saying yes, then please write uh, yes and 
Are you applying for Inos quota? No. So uh, we do not have Inos quota, so we are not like, going to write Inos quota. So if you are belonging to minority category, you are applying for minority admissions, you will say yes here. Again, when you are writing the marks of your 10th standard, uh, English marks is important. English marks here, uh, you write whatever your marks out of English, in what you have scored, you write your English marks and then your automatically your percentage is calculated. Uh, total marks obtained, total marks out of. So you are going to write out of 500, your marks of group 1 and group 2 only. And then I think, if I am not very sure whether it calculates on its own, I think it must be calculating on its own. Uh, group 1 and group 2 marks are only entered. Again, you will be writing, this is your uh, way, uh, this is where you enter your marks. Uh, so English, your marks in English, a second language and a history geography. So group 1 has 3 subjects. I think I told you uh, group 1 has 2 subjects. Group 1 has 3 subjects. English, Hindi and History Geography. So this is your, uh, you will be entering your marks out of 100. Please note that English 1 and English 2 are not separate, but you will be writing out of 100. Uh, this particular child belongs, uh, has taken Economics and Commerce. So he has written his Economics and Commerce Studies. Uh, we do not have the six subject in Group 3. There are in uh, Group 2, there are some schools uh, where the option of appearing for a sixth paper is also there. Children's Academy has not given the option. Our students only have three subjects in the group one, two subjects in group two and group three. So you will be entering marks out of only 500. Uh, once your uh, forms are filled up, then you will be writing, you will be automatically it shows you, depending upon what code you have written, it will be showing your Children's Academy Kandili uh, or Children's Academy Malar or Children's Academy Thakur Complex. Uh, school name and press save and next. The mark sheet which uh, this particular child is, sex, uh, is sending is 10 standard mark sheet and a sports certificate because he is a national level, uh, uh, he has got a medal at the national level. So he is submitting the proof of this. So you have to upload it if you have any uh, uh, caste category or you are belonging to uh, disabled category, you will have to enter your subjects. Uh, here, they will ask you for the subjects here. And remember that all the documents which you are having, the original documents will be required at the time of admission. If you do not have original documents, your admission will can be cancelled. Please understand that if you do not have an original document of a, uh, which you are uploading, then your admission may get cancelled at the college level, even if you have got your admission in round 1, round 2 or Round three. Uh, this is how you how you uh, upload a document, and then uh, once you upload a document, then again uh, the next screen will show you this. It shows the name of the applicant. It shows the year of. Uh, it gives you all the details what you already done, the fees to be paid, and whether you are paying uh, online. Uh, proceed to pay. Once you pay, your transaction ID, pay ID, pay name, everything is shown here, and then you uh, you finish this process. So this is part one. So once you finish part one, then uh, the form, as soon as you uh, lock your admission uh, form, it comes to Children's Academy School. We get a message on our portal that so and so child has filled up the form. My clerical staff will open your form. It will check every detail which you have filled in, which takes a lot of time. Please understand that uh, do not increase our work be very careful while writing the form. Do not write wrong details. If you have done so, you can edit it. If you have not locked your form part 1, it is still with you. You can edit your form. Uh, I have already given you instructions. I have told you where you people go wrong. Most of you are going wrong in your writing the seat number. You are writing the wrong month of uh, examination. You, uh, you are also writing the wrong code or you are uh, submitting the wrong uh, documents your mark sheets are wrong or you are taking a screenshot and then entering that, do not do that uh, or you are writing wrong marks, uh, you are entering the wrong uh, uh, terminal examination or uh, terminal examination of grade 10th, you are entering that mark sheet. Uh, so then it will get delayed. If you are right, it will not take more than 5 minutes for us to verify. But remember there are lots of students whose forms are with us. 
so it will take a uh, bear with us it takes at least one day for us to verify uh, today we have sent back around 51 forms so out of uh, 85 forms which we have received till now 51 forms have gone back from Ashok Nagar because of wrong data so please uh, connect it and uh, once you connect it will form it will come back to us we will verify it immediately within a day we will verify it and give it back to you once you do that then you will start part two now I will open up a student's uh, uh, I'll show you a form which has uh, been verified part one has been verified and now part two form will be open so I am using a particular student uh, uh, Ronit is the form visible now? yes it is visible ok so uh, when you fill up part one and uh, you get a notice you can uh, once I verify part one you will be again logging in and entering your uh, user id and uh, password and this is what you will be seeing so the, it will be written that verified by the school part one has been verified part two is incomplete or part two part two is complete but not locked so now you will get an option proceed to fill option form so this is what i am doing so when i go to this place Uh, let, I think it's not logged in. I'll just log in. So this is about the same form. Now, uh, student name is visible here. And his previous log, current time login IP address from which he has done it is visible and you get a option of filling up the part B form option B. When you do that you get to now select 10 colleges. Now remember part B of the form will ask you 10 colleges. You will require to give minimum 1 and maximum 10 colleges or 10 cores I will not say 10 colleges 10 options because in, in a particular college there might be more than one uh, core one core may belong to the aided section other code may belong into the unaided section and the third may belong to the self-financed uh, section so for example I will show you Bhavan's college which has got more than one option. Now, uh, for example, this boy is applying for commerce. He has uh, taken that uh, he wants to take, uh, he is a commerce student. So, for him, science is not available. So, those who have dropped science and uh, science uh, in the uh, 9th and 10th cannot offer science in the 11th, that is logical. So, you can either opt for arts or commerce. Those who have taken science in your uh, grade 9 and 10 for you arts commerce and science are all available so now for this particular child he is gone for he is opted for commerce and not arts he has opted for commerce if you want you can see here there are uh, the sil on the left hand side you can select your stream you can select the junior colleges for example now uh, the child has already selected commerce I will click here the marks is visible passing status have you passed English yes have you passed science no the marks is written he has given best out of five that is uh, the five group one and group two so 421 marks out of 500 percentage has been calculated and he has selected commerce he has selected English so you uh, when you open part B you can uh, part two of the form you can go to the left hand side and select your stream and medium and then save and next so once you save and next you get the same thing which is again commerce English uh, he is looking for all colleges and all college types now there are options like boys coed and all so 99% I think uh, every student will be going for all 
bifocal subjects if you are looking for a bifocal subject then you particularly you have to uh, look for a bifocal if you are interested in bifocal banking marketing there are a list of uh, uh, the colleges uh, for commerce students these are the bifocal subjects which are available banking marketing salesmanship office management small industries but like i said uh, bifocal subjects and the admissions are given at the state at the college level but when you are selecting a college you can look for a banking for a college which gives you an option of banking and then it will only search junior colleges uh, which are giving you the option for banking if you are not interested in a bifocal subject just write all so that the colleges which will be visible to you will be all across uh, mumbai showing you subject uh, colleges which are offering bifocal as well as not offering you bifocal zone you are looking at all again uh, if you want to particularly particularly if you want to look for a particular zone then your mumbai north mumbai south and mumbai west mumbai is divided mumbai is been divided into three zones mumbai north mumbai south is your uh, uh, south bombay church gate um, i think after dadar and then you have mumbai west so meti bai up to bandra is mumbai west so uh, if you are looking for a college like meti bai nm they are all in andheri parla they are all fall in uh, mumbai west bhavans college may be mumbai west if you are looking for a college like uh, 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 st xavier's or hr they are in mumbai south so you can uh, reduce your search to this particular area so right now for example but for simplification i am selecting mumbai west so now i have selected commerce colleges english medium college colleges i am looking at aided bmc government unaided all so i am just keeping the option as all i am looking at all colleges all types of colleges not only boys college i am also looking at all college co-ed uh, colleges so either you can keep it co-ed or you can keep it at, uh, so i am keeping it co-ed bifocal i am not interested so let me uh, let me show all subjects zone i am particularly looking at andheri so uh, mumbai uh, west zone and now i search so when i search it gives me a list of all colleges can you see this the colleges names which start appearing all commerce colleges uh, which are available for you in college uh, which is the name of the college popular name of the college will be different from the official name for example this particular college bombay suburban grain dealers junior college is nothing but nl nl college at uh, which is popularly called nl college at esurod malad uh, so you have to be very particular you may not be knowing the official name of the college so uh, Okay. Okay, Vivek, there 
is another uh, college. It also shows the preference number of colleges. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The first one was the NLI school, aided section, and the last one was Gurukul English High School. Now, after you do that, you have a tick mark here. You put a tick mark. I hereby declare, understand that the preference and option given to me are given after the reading of rules and allotment of junior college will depend on my merit, reservation and order of preferences. So understand that it is not only on your merit, it is also depends on your order of preference. So it is possible that if your preference number of NLI school aided section is 6, your friend may with a lower percentage may get it in uh, college number 1, but you may not get in college number 1 NLI school because your preference was number 6. So there are lots of permutations and combinations possible here. The algorithm is seeking, uh, the computer algorithms are looking at two things. It is looking at the seat availability, it is looking at your preference, it is also looking at your merit. So this, are the th this is very important that you are very very clear on your order of preference. If you don't get one, I am ready to go to two. If I am not ready to go to two, I am ready to get to if I don't get in two, I am ready to go in three and so on. Select the colleges which you are ready to go. Don't write a college where you are not ready to go. So once you are okay, you press this and lock the option form. Once you lock the option form, then you are not able to unlock it. Uh, but you are not able to, you are able to unlock it right now. But after the deadline, uh, the deadline is given in the schedule, then you will not be able to unlock it. Right now, because the forms are un, uh, still, the date is still available, you can unlock the form. But once you, uh, once the date, uh, whatever the schedule, according to the schedule given, you can have a look at the schedule. Once you cross the schedule, you are not able to lock the form. Then whatever your preferences will go to the department and you will get admission. Now, I again repeat, after 3-4 days, I think after 23rd, I am not very sure, I think it is uh, available there. After 23rd, uh, your last date is 22nd, from 23rd, the uh, government will start sorting out the forms and you will get uh, an SMS when your first round of results are declared. So when your first round of results are declared, if you have selected number one college, this is your number one college, NLI school with code CGE, MU104CGE, if you select that and you get admission in junior college number one, preference number one, you have to take admission. Understand your preference number one is XYZ college and in the result, when you get the result, you are told that you have got admission in your College number one, you have to confirm your admission in that college. You cannot change your mind. If you do not take admission in college number one, preference number one, if it matches, if you do not take admission there, the government assumes that you are not interested in the online admission. You have taken admission maybe in the polytechnic colleges or an IAC college or maybe somewhere else, you are shifting out of Bombay, you are not interested in the admission and you are not considered for round 2 and round 3. I hope I make myself very clear. I had two parents last year who have not taken admission when their children got admission in preference number 1 and they lost out on admission and they couldn't get the admission in a good college. So I again request you to understand this point. I am again telling you in round 1 or round 2 or round 3, if your preference number 1 matches the result, you have to take admission in that particular college. If it does not match, if you are asked for XYZ college in, uh, in preference number 1, but you have not got it, you have got ABC college, PQR college, LMN college, you are still uh, eligible for round 2. You have time for, the government will give you time, once the first list is out, you do not get admission in any of the eight colleges, do not be disheartened, do not be discouraged, understand that there is time for you, round two and round three is also available. Again, very important.
important that you look at the cutoff percentages. Your cutoff percentages are available in the portal. Once you, uh, I will take you to the home page. The cutoff percentage are shown there. Round one cutoff percentage, round two cutoff percentage, round three cutoff percentage of last year is shown. If your percentage, if there is a lot of difference in your percentage, do not. If you are on the lower side, do not apply in that particular college. Understand that this year everybody has got lavish scores. The percentages this year are because of COVID and because the examinations were not conducted are very high across the boards. Not only ICC, State Board and CBC also. So understand that the cutoff percentage of last year and the cutoff percentage of this year, there will be a difference of at least 2 to 3 percent, at least 2 percent. So if the cutoff percentage of last year was 80, most probably the cutoff percentage this year in the round 1 will be 82. So if you have got 78 percent, then it is advisable that you look for a college which matches your percentage and the cutoff of last year. Do not be over ambitious and uh, try to get an admission where you may not get and then do not blame the government for not getting admission in an XYZ college, in the best colleges. Your percentage has to match your options. Many times the students apply for colleges where your cutoff percentage is nowhere near the cut where your percentage is nowhere near the cutoff percentage of last year, and then you do not get a round one admission, round two admission, or round three admission, and you have to wait for round four, which is a special round which is given. Uh, then the government opens a helpline center and tells you to come there and tells you that okay, XYZ college mein admission hai, either chale jao, ABC college mein hai, and they will wash their hands off. So please understand that you a best option is to be op, be sensible and logical. Look at the cutoff percentages of last year. It is available in the portal. Look at that round one, round two, round three percentages vary. So right now you are you can look at round one cutoff of last year. If your percentages are more or almost the same, then you can apply. Put your preference number one and preference number two or preference number three and so on. Once you do that, uh, once the round one admissions are over, you will be given, uh, you will receive an SMS or you will, your admission portal will show, your the form will, your uh, portal, uh, login, when you log into your portal, it will tell you that you have got admission at, for example, at college number six. I was applying for NL college, but I didn't get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The government is informing me that with this percentage, you are eligible for St. Andrews College. So I may be happy with St. Andrews College, but I want to try my luck again. So then I will say I am not interested. So I don't do anything. And now you can change between round 1 and round 2. You have a couple of days to change your order of preference. The order of preference which you are given right now, you can change. You can also change the stream. If you are interested in commerce right now, but you may say, okay, all my friends are going for arts. I also want to appear for arts. So round 2, you may change your stream. Round 2, you may also change the order of preference. If you are happy with the order of preference, if you are happy with the stream, you can keep it as it is. You need not change your order of preference and the same order of preference will be carried for round 2. So if you do not get admission or if you are not happy with the admission uh, you are getting in round 1, you can wait for round 2 either by changing the preference or by not changing the preference. If you change the preference, again change the preference and lock the form, then again uh, you will uh, in the round 2 you will get your new admission. If you are happy with round 2 admission, if it matches college number 1, if you get it, you have to take. If you do not, if you are not happy with round uh, with the round 2 admission, you can wait for round 3 admission. Again, after round 2, you have an option of going to the uh, admission, confirming your admission or not confirming your admission. If you are happy with the college the government gives, 
you have to go port confirm in your portal there will be a place where it will say confirm admission you have to do that please understand that once your admission is given to you in any college you are happy with the college you have to confirm the admission by pressing the tab confirm admission and then approach the college for paying the fees and submitting your original documents if you do not confirm your admission the government assumes that you are not interested and you are waiting for round 3 in round 3 again you will be given an admission if it matches your preference take admission otherwise it is very difficult round 3 admissions are over if you do not confirm your admission in round 3 there are only 3 rounds fourth round is a very special round which is done usually uh, very late so this entire process approximately takes one month so uh, by that time your other colleges will start so round 4 usually is very late for all those people who have not taken admission not filled up the form at the correct time no uh, uh, missed out on the admission process uh, like last year one parent did not take the preference number 1 and you have to wait for round 4 etc so wherever whichever round you are happy with the admission given to you complete the admission by confirming the pressing the tab confirm admission once the admission is confirmed you have to go to the particular college and pay the fees as well as give the living certificate mark sheet and the migration certificate so this completes my uh, information about round 1 round 3 round 2 admissions so i hope everything has been clear uh you can uh if you have any questions now ronit i uh, rohan if you want to come in if i missed out any points uh i was in a meeting so i didn't hear much so okay if you have any queries we will look at it okay ronit i think now we can start uh Firstly, the uh, the talking about whether we can leave the video up on YouTube uh, for future reference. Uh, uh, I think I leave it up to you. I think we can leave it. No problem. Don't think so. Uh, okay. So some most of the questions were uh, answered while you were uh, talking anyway, but I'll just go through some anyway. Uh, this one says I submitted my form and I received a message saying your application has been sent back to you due to non-compliance. So, Firuza, uh, most probably your form has come back to the school, uh, has been sent back by the school because uh, of some error in the form. So, if there is an error in the form, you will be getting the form back. So, let uh, uh, them come and come to the office. Come to the office, yeah. Come to the office and clarify the doubts. Okay. Anybody else? Yeah, the next one was uh, what do we have to put in the unique code in the second part of the admission form? Unique code. Uh, the second part, I am not very sure. I have not seen this part. Uh, no, that uh, I think that is the unique code that is developed. That is the first part. You can see that uh, sheet uh, there in the, that uh, PPT which Kavita had sent. No. Okay. I have put it. Printed there. See there. I I will open it. Uh, hold on. Yeah, you will find that there unique code. And that unique code has to be copied here. Okay. Uh, that is available with us. Okay. I'll open the. Is it visible, Ronit? Yeah, it is visible. Yes. Okay. Uh, where is the? Which page is it? I can't see a unique code somewhere. Is it the same as the M U B I uh, number? No, it is the our school code. Our school. Uh, I can't see a unique code somewhere. It is there. You go down. Let's see. This is the last page. Generate, huh? 
This is the last page. Let me let me open my this and see. I'll tell you where it is. Hold on. In the meanwhile, we'll just continue and check yeah, some of the. Yeah, continue the next one. I search for that. It is there. Um, what documents are required for the Gujarati quota? I uh, you require. Uh, uh, we usually uh, issue a letter from the school, uh, saying to the best of my knowledge, uh, the parent belongs to the particular because there is no uh, no certificate from the school. It's a letter which comes from the school saying that you uh, be, uh, to the best of the knowledge, uh, she belongs to Gujarati community. Excuse me, sir. Yeah. Excuse me, sir. Yeah. Sir, Sandeep had sent me a code in which he said, enter seat number as unique ID code. Okay, fine, fine. That's what he had sent me. Okay, seat number is a unique ID code. Yes, yes. yes. Okay, okay. So the next question was, uh, um, how can we get the ID number of the college that we want? ID number of the college is the same thing I showed you. These are the codes which are shown. If you want, again, I'll, uh, I've already showed you. The same thing, The if I'm searching the colleges, for example, I'm looking at only Andheri now, for example, Mumbai Andheri, and I'm only looking at uh, Commerce College. So these are the codes. The code here, MU's 104 CGE, MU's 104 CPE, these are the particular codes. You can also, uh, I think I forgot to tell you, you can also uh, shortlist your area. If you are only interested in Andheri area or Parla area, you can do that and it will search, it will give you colleges only in that particular area. For example, Medivai College has this code, uh, MU 431 CGE. Narsi Manji College has this code, MU716 CGE. So these are the codes which are asked. Okay, next. Alright, so uh, the very common question that has uh, um, come up about whether for the for form one, for part one, the leaving certificate is required and also... An part one, part one. Will, huh, sorry, so sorry. When will the leaving certificate be available for Yeah, that? leaving certificate will be given uh, as soon as the ICC board gives a mark sheet. We are waiting for the mark sheet. And leaving certificate, uh, those, students who are, uh, those students who are requiring it right now, because of your minority college admissions, only those people, you can come to the school, we will give it to you. But remember, uh, mark sheet has to come from the ICC board. We have not received the ICC mark sheet as of today. So, uh, mark sheet is required, leaving certificate is required, as well as your migration certificate uh, is required. We will be giving it to you as soon as the mark sheet comes. But right now, you do not require it, this. Minority colleges may require it. Those who are taking admission in minority quota, if they are asking for it and you are requiring it, you can request the school. To go to the particular branch and then collect it. But we will get only your living certificate. There is, uh, we will issue the migration certificate and the uh, mark sheet as and when it comes. Mark sheet, by, migration certificate is already printed, but uh, you don't require it right now. Understand that admission procedure will take time. It is at least 15 to 20 days, one month. So you require LC, living certificate, only at the time of admission confirmation, not now. Part 1 doesn't require LC. So there are. Uh, so I hope that answers the question for the leaving certificate. Be patient with when the mark sheet comes. We will also give you the leaving certificate along with that. Yes. Or uh, as a follow up uh, about, uh, is a repeated question about uh, people who have filled the form one but it is not verified. I'm assuming they made a mistake in their uh, uh, form filling. Uh, no, because uh, there is a huge backlog. What has happened is there are 80 to 90 forms, and uh, since many people have filled up wrong, uh, the forms are. Forms have to be verified by my uh, by the clerical staff, and then uh, by within a day we'll be doing it. So uh, the uh, two to three clerks are verifying in each school. Uh, as soon as the form is verified, your part two can also will also open. If there is an error, you will get a message uh, in the same portal that your form has an error and it has been sent back to you. And you are also writing the remark why it is being sent back to you. Okay, so students, please fill the form carefully, otherwise there will be unnecessary wasted of time when you this, well, this back and forth, back and forth, the wasted of time. So please do fill the form very carefully. Uh, do the LD students have to do anything differently or is, the, uh, is everything the same? Uh, everything is the same. 
uh, LD students uh, again uh, will be uh, once you uh, select LD category, we will be verifying it from the counselling department. And uh, we, I am very sure our clinical section has the uh, has the particular uh, certificate. We we'll verify that and uh, approve it. Uh, so there's one more about. Uh if someone mistakenly wrote the examination month as March, is it okay or will it March, have to be? Yeah, March, April, May is okay. Okay, so it's, it's not an issue if anyone has written March instead of uh, um, instead of May. Then we have, um, okay, I think that everything else needs to be repeated once again. I think this is also sort of talked about this after this question was asked, but let me just uh, ask this again. What if we do not get the admission in any of the 10 colleges that we choose? Uh, if you are, if you have filled up wrong options and you do not get in any of the 10 colleges, you will have to wait for the special round. The government gives uh, the guarantee that every child who passes grade 10 will get an admission. So you don't have to worry. The, it is the government's uh, pri uh, uh, prerogative to give you, uh, it is not, uh, it is an obligation to give you an admission. But understand that uh, it is not necessary you will get in the college which you want. So the college, uh, round four is basically wherever the seats are available, it will tell you that you have option between this college and this college, so you select the option. So uh, you will have to take admission. But every child who passes 10th child will get admission in a college. You don't have to worry about that. So this child, if they, if they don't get option 1, but they get option 2, 3 and 4, should they choose with, from those uh, 2, 3 and 4? Yeah, so now for example, like I said, uh, you have not, you have asked for a particular college as option 1, but you have not got in option 1, you have got option 2 to 10, any college of option number 2 to 10, you will have to take a call, it's your call, whether you want to wait and hope that you get admission in round 2, it's a gamble. You will have to look at the cutoff percentage and uh, last year understand the uh, portal I am very sure will also tell you how many seats are available uh, till uh, after round 1. So you will have to take a call. It is purely the parents call and the students call whether they want to wait for round 2 or secure admission in uh, by taking admission where has been, wherever it has been given. Okay, I think that uh, that was that particular question. There was one more question here that if my name is then the zero round list for MM College, am I eligible to wait and get admission for round one in my first round? No, if you get admission in round one, uh, zero round, you are not eligible uh, for zero round one, round two, round three. Minority admission is zero round. If you get admission in the college where you are asked uh, in the minority college, uh, college preference number one, if you have taken, if you have opted for five form, uh, if you have uh, five minority college and the first one matches your preference, you have to take admission in that minority college and you are not eligible for round two or round one or round three. Okay, uh, the procedure for getting the migration certificate? Migration certificate and leaving certificate and mark sheet will be given together along with the other school uh, documents which are with us. Uh, we'll also be giving you your uh, um, uh, the uh, your medical file. Your uh, we have a portfolio of your work, artwork, and other documents right from grade one. So please collect that from the school. Right. So, sir, I've already I informed you about the leaving certificate, mark sheet, and the uh, migration certificate. So please be patient for it. The next question was, uh, what seat number should we have to put? Candidate number uh, on that seat number, do we have to put index number or unique code? As in the hall ticket, there is nothing mentioned as the candidate ID. Uh, I am not very sure of this question. Yeah, neither am I. So for the seat I think, number. Uh, seat number is your candidate number. Okay. Okay, and, second uh, number. All right. okay so moving forward. Um, what about the college index? You said there will be three, so we have to select it all aided or unaided. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, when you see the form, uh, if you see the particular this, for example, it tells you your call, uh, the colleges uh, are, one college may have more than one code. For example, if I see uh, Andheri, I again showing you Andheri West, Bounds College. So if you see 
uh, this particular Bhavan's uh, College, Bhavan's College of Arts and Commerce, aided section, Bhavan's College, CPE, permanent and aided 13,000, Bhavan's College of Arts, 20,000. So, and for each, uh, for each form, for each uh, code, the number of seats available are different. So, aided section may have two divisions, unaided section may have four divisions, and a self finance uh, may have three, four more divisions. So, uh, it depends upon whether you want to go to a, uh, to the division where uh, you are not, you don't want to pay the fees. But I am very sure uh, the uh, the uh, the seats, more seats are available. Um, in the unaided section, you will have to have a look at every college. Uh, if you go to the Excel sheet, uh, it tells you. I'll just also show you uh, your. If you go, I will just log out. Uh, if you go to Junior College Information. There is, you can also search your uh, colleges from here. <coughs> your cutoff percentages are here. And there is a place where your, uh, uh, an Excel sheet is available where uh, you can also get the number of seats available for each division. I am not able to trace it right now, but it's there somewhere in the portal. Uh, let me have a look again. Rohit, that was last year's this. No, no, this year also it is there one, uh, somewhere. Okay, uh, by that time, uh, let us answer. Well, junior college information is only th not that, in that it should be there, see the search one. Junior right. college information and the search column, yeah. No, this is showing me the Excel sheet. Uh, it is showing me the same thing. But it also tells you, the, uh, this is also one more place where you can search. Uh, if you open this sheet, no, open, uh, select this zone, put a particular zone. Uh, Mumbai West yeah. area, Mumbai West, I want to see, go to Andheri, I want to go to Andheri West. Uh, college type is Coed, stream is Arts, Commerce and Science, let me try Commerce. Uh, all. Uh, Okay, I am keeping everything open. Yeah. Okay, so I think here it, in this if you can yeah, out, no, it, here, no, it is I think here also it will give you the number of seats are available. Like Bowen's College, if I click on here, uh, yeah, it gives all further details. In this you should be they should be given. Yeah, 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 correct, correct. So it tells you that uh, this is now I have given a Bowen's College. Now Bowen's College uh, Commerce has got 120 seats. Uh, Commerce Science has got 120 seats, Bifocal it has got 30 seats, Bifocal Electronics, so it gives you a proper idea, uh, unaided there are 120 seats and aided there are 100 seats um, in the general category, in the general and then also you have Computer Science, elect Commerce for example if you see the aided section has 600 seats and the unaided section has got 240 seats and in the fees 20,000 rupees category, there are 120 seats. So, in the free category, uh, there are 600 seats available. In the 15,000 or 12,000 uh, fees, there are 240 seats available. And in the place where uh, you are paying in the two division, in one division, I think 120 is one division if I am not mistaken, 120 seats available at 20,000 rupees fees. So, uh, you will have to take a call if you are, uh, I am very sure that every parent of uh, children's academy will be able to afford uh, 20,000 rupees fees across the, in the year. So, you can decide where you want. Um, more people will be going in for, I think, the free section. So, your chances uh, depend upon how many people apply for that particular category, for that particular divisions. 
if you see the cut off percentage also you will find that the cut off percentage for aed is slightly higher than the cut off percentage for uh, if you see go to the edit uh, the cut off uh, seats when you see there you will find that the cut off for the aed section is slightly higher than the cut off for the unaided section so it is better to put first preference as unaided and second preference as aided so uh, sorry uh, the other way around uh, first preference as aided but no so um, first preference is unaided only sorry so that you get an easier thing and if you get it first you take it first and don't worry about getting in the uh, uh, this uh, aided section so first preference in that case should be for your unaided section where you pay the full fees so here again uh, further you have an i option i link uh, here tab here again i click it it again tells you what fees so aided section there are 8600 seats non minority and then the tuition fees is 000 uh, if you take it that is a bifocal then you have to pay 6000 rupees and uh, for the subjects also there are the seats available are shown here like hindi there are 270 seats Marathi there are 190, French there are 40 students and so on. So this is giving you a pretty good idea. So either you can look here, uh, you can search your college information from this search category and uh, find your subjects and find your colleges here. Okay, anything else, Ronit? Yeah, quite a one. Uh, an interesting one actually because you filed a saying that they filled the form using the old school index number. They locked the form and they still were verified okay so that particular student will require to come to school and inform us uh, whichever which division or is it which school uh, is it which i haven't mentioned nikhil prajapati if you could you'll have to come to school and inform in case uh, you're okay for nikhil prajapati if you nikhil prajapati is from which school which branch i haven't uh, mentioned yet. yeah okay you can just type down uh, nikhil then we can figure it out for you but yes you'll have to visit the school one more question, name of candidate on the mark sheet is not full, that is without the father's name. While filling the form, can we put the full name, that is name, father name and surname? Uh, see, your whatever details you are filling up the form have to match the leaving certificate. Uh, we will not be able to verify your form if your leaving certificate details are, uh, if your details on your form are not matching the school records. So if your school record doesn't have father's name, uh, you are not. You should not be writing something different there. Please see that your uh, form matches your form matches your uh, GR records because we have been continuously checking your record in grade one, in grade five, in grade eight, and again grade ten. So you had five times an opportunity to come and uh, correct it. If something is wrong, you can come to us. Uh, but don't write something which is not matching our detail, we will not be able to verify it. Okay, Malad, Nikhil Prajapati is from Malad, please contact uh, Sandeep tomorrow, Sandeep Karan from Malad. Okay. Um, about the Gujarati quota letter from the school, that needs to be picked up from the school, right? Yes. One letter, uh, we issue a letter, Ron, we are giving it every year, no? Yeah, yeah, we issue to the best of our knowledge, they have to give us a, whatever certificate they have, they have got. We issue a letter telling to the best of our knowledge. Um, it's a, it's a free so it is not required. The college verifies that on their own only. But we, are, we if they want, we can issue a letter. That's all. That the entire data entered in our this is so and so. Or to the best of our knowledge, is we are belonging to Gujarati community. All right. So um, is it okay if they upload a screenshot of the result or a PDF is compulsory? Uh, my creditor staff has asked for a, uh, don't take a screenshot with the captcha. Uh, download your living mark sheet from the proper place, download it, so your captcha and all that are not visible. Otherwise what happens is I have seen mark sheet with captcha. Um, and then I am not very sure whether it is uh, acceptable or no. But it is preferable to download your mark sheet properly uh, from, your, uh, from your ICC portal and then use that for uploading. Uh, what is to be filled in the self declaration form? What is the self declaration form? Um, part 1? I am assuming part 1. Uh, but it's been I just completed, yeah, we just told you what you have to fill. Part 1 are all your residential details, your uh, uh, telephone number, mobile number, marks, etc. 
But so this is uh, about the caste certificate. This one, this has been given by the caste office. Is that okay, or do they require a certificate issued by the school? No, we don't issue any caste certificate from the school. Your caste certificate is a certificate issued by your, uh, by your, by the government. Now regarding sports, I think that's one. Um, before that, if we have given elementary and intermediate examination and it increases the percentage percent by a particular percent, should we come to school and collect something to include in the mark sheet regarding? Uh, you will have to talk to the clerical staff and find out whether the elementary and intermediate certificates have come from the uh, education department. I have no logic, no knowledge of that. Please come tomorrow. Tomorrow school is working. Office is working tomorrow. It is closed day after tomorrow. For tomorrow, it is closed day after tomorrow. Tomorrow is working. Um, office, hours, office hours are, I think, 10 o'clock to uh, 3 o'clock. Similarly, there's a question about secure silver in DSO volleyball tournament. Is that helpful or uh, not? Uh, is it a state level or a national level? Exactly. So, uh, Yashika, you'll have to find out yourself whether if, if it's. Uh, uh, state level or national level, if it's a local competition, then it won't be applicable. If it is a state or national level competition, then it will be applicable. And the DSO office will issue a certificate for the admission. Uh, that I think there's one more procedure for that. You can check with the clerical staff again for that and they will guide you on this. Well, like Rohan Zeroz has mentioned, the office is open tomorrow from 10 to 3. So, uh, if you do require that help, please do get in touch with the school office. Um, Okay, I think every every other question is repeated, so doesn't seem like right now. This one is there. Um, Shashan has been asking this question repeatedly about self development form. You need to explain that question better, Shashan. Understanding, uh, yeah. What is this? Yeah, what will be children's self development form? So again, you have to explain that question better. Uh, in the name of the school, should it be Kandivli or East? No. Uh, is it showing two options? I am not sure if it is showing two options, Kandili East or Kandili. Nobody has this particular question, so I am not sure. Is Kandili, both the schools are in Kandili, so it should not matter. As long as your code, as you can write Kandili East, as long as your code is not wrong. Uh, Thakur Complex code is different and Malad code is different. So, I have already given you the codes. Uh, if you want, I will share it to you again. Yeah, if you can just share that particular screen so that everyone can write it down. Yeah, it I do. I do. To be very clear, that is an extremely important code. Please do not make a mistake in typing it down. Um, so, so we'll be sharing that again. So that's a question about should do we have to lock the application form before verification from, verification from the school? Uh, after part A is locked, after you lock the part A, then it comes to us. After you lock part A, only then the form will be form can come to us. I assume you are talking about part A and not part B. After you finish part B, it doesn't come to us. Only part A is coming to us for verification. Part B has got nothing to do with us. I think that they were asking about part A. So yes, please do lock your part A. Then it will come to the school. The school will verify it and then you can fill the part B. Uh, students, you can see the uh, the index number on the screen right now. Uh, please note that down as per your branch very carefully. MUOB150 for Mallard. MUOB167 for Ashoknagar. MUOB168 for Thakur Gompton. Once again, it's MUO, okay, O as in the letter. Okay. Okay. Yes, I think that's uh, covered. And finally, this one is again repeated about where is the candidate ID mentioned? Nothing is mentioned as such in the hall ticket. We discussed this before. Candidate number is mentioned there. I have seen it right. I have seen it today. Candidate number is mentioned. All right. So, uh, in the hall ticket. In the hall ticket. In the hall ticket. So please have a look very clearly. So this should be there in the hall ticket. Uh, candidate ID. Okay. Other than that, I don't see any other question. I think, I think we are done with it. Uh, we will leave the video up for a while. Uh, it will be available on the Zoom Academy Global Schools uh, YouTube page on the same YouTube page. So you can refer to it going forward. Uh, like uh, Rohit said, 
uh, the school is open tomorrow from 10 to 3. So if you have any doubts or if you require any uh, help, so please do get in touch. Nikhil Prajapati specifically had been had been asked tomorrow uh, to get in touch with the Malad branch. Sandeep in the Malad branch. Uh, last, I think, query, there is a query. I'm not, I'm not aware of the query or the statement. Levon uh, says that self declaration form is to be filled up and submitted along with the caste certificate. Um, it mentions that the documents are not as compliant that the admission will be cancelled. Okay, maybe I'm not very sure about this particular part. Self declaration part uh, that is a standard instruction, if I am not mistaken, for anything that if you are not able to submit any particular document, caste or eligibility, anything, then your admission will stand cancelled in a particular place or if your original documents are missing if you say that you belong to a particular caste then you should have a caste certificate if you say that you are a learning disabled uh, child then you require a learning disability certificate if you say that your father or mother belongs to ex serviceman or serviceman then the certificate uh, and so on Gujarati quota admission in-house no 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 this again Gujarati quota admissions are minority quota admission not in-house in-house is different in house is for those okay. schools which have 11th and 12th attached to schools. Colleges have to be approached for minority admissions. Yes, Kushi, we have to go to a particular college, check their uh, whether uh, some colleges are offline, some colleges are online. For example, if you are going to Midibai, uh, Midibai College may be an online application. You will have to fill up the online application and uh, give them proof of uh, your completed part A and part B. No admission can be done without the online admission process. Even if you are a minor, if you are applying for a minority seat, you have to write, you have to mention, uh, you have to fill up part A and part B. Okay. Uh, uh, repeated question about the migration. Uh, um, I will give it along with the leaving certificate and the... Uh, do we have to fill up forms for FIJC admission in junior uh, college website only if it is a minority? college. Bumi, if you are filling up a minority seat, then you have to fill up uh, two forms. You have to fill up online admission form part A and part B. Also, you have to apply at that particular college. Uh, Sashank, I am not sure you can... I am not still understanding uh, what you are trying to ask. You can approach the school tomorrow, Sashan, the particular school, I am very sure they will help you. Are we supposed to leave the unique code section empty? Uh, Sudha, you told about the unique code section, what was that again, can you repeat? Sir, yes sir, the seat number should be your unique ID. Your school, uh, examination seat number will be the unique ID. That is a candidate number? Yes sir. Okay. I hope, uh, Resha, your answer, your question is answered. Okay, we are there to help you. Tomorrow, you can call up the school. The school is working tomorrow from uh, uh, 10 o'clock. So, you can give us a call from 10 o'clock if you have any particular, uh, uh, particular query. If you are not understood or if you still want help, you can come down to school or preferable, give us a call. If the phone lines are down uh, and some one of the branches of school online, I think Malad branch, uh, the MDLs, uh, because the rains, uh, uh, the phones are not working. So you can either uh, call, come down to school and get your query. But don't come in large numbers, maintain social distancing, uh, don't unnecessarily crowd the school. See that you come only if you have answer, if you have a doubt and you still want to come down. But otherwise don't unnecessarily come down to school. I think that should suffice for, for now and uh, okay, so I think you can shut the meeting down. Yeah. Thank for Thank you. Like I said, I'll leave the, I'll leave the video up. Everybody, bye-bye. Thank you. I'll leave the video.